Hey Shooby Doodlers, now I'm going to show you how to do these little things here and I'm going to tell you why you should do them. It's like playing scales on the piano, but uh, let's not talk about it. <laughs> let's do it. Draw yourself a little square like that. It's not a very good square. And just start doing something. And it's kind of like doodling, but um, you'll find little patterns that you might like doing. And if you do them each day, and you take a bit of time and effort, <laughs> then you will kind of get better at doing it, and you will gain motor skills. It's just like playing a computer game, you know, if you're doing Grand Theft Auto or whatever it is, and you do those little thumb movements each day, eventually you get to do that thing that you've <laughs> been trying to do for weeks. And it's exactly the same with drawing. And it's funny, I, th I think, you know, if you kind of learn to play an instrument, everybody accepts that you've got to make mistakes and scratch away at that violin and make <laughs> kind of noises on your trombone and <laughs> spend a long time practicing. And everybody accepts that if you're going to learn to play an instrument, then you go and do your practice every day. And spend an hour, half an hour or something, just scratching away, doing scales. And it's really boring. And that's probably what puts a lot of people off. Um, learning a musical instrument. But that is how you learn to play an instrument. <laughs> doing those boring, boring scales. And you can see I'm talking and thinking, and so my lines are going a little bit off. Because <laughs> I'm trying to do two things at the same time. But if you just spend 10 minutes every day, get some little exercises, it's just kind of warming up your fingers. But you'll also find that you get this muscle memory thing going. Your fingers just get used to holding a pen and doing things and moving in the way that you want them to. And, and it's all about habit. Um, and here I'm just doing kind of wiggly lines, but trying to keep them reasonably sort of equal and trying to make them stop and start at the beginning which I'm not very good at. Uh, <laughs> I'm trying to make them start on the line there and end on the line. The thing about this is if you keep doing this you're developing habits and that is what practice is all about. And like riding a bicycle you keep you know, it's a bit awkward to start off with, and you think, oh, I can't do that, I can't do that. But if you keep doing it, eventually you get to be able to ride the bicycle. And very soon you're riding a bike without thinking about it. And that is where you want to be. If you keep drawing and doing little practice things like this, so that your hand is just used to drawing, and just, you know, it just becomes second nature for your hand to be making marks, then you can be using your brain to be looking at things and saying, I should be drawing that, should be drawing that, and then your hand will just instinctively do what you want it to do. Does that make sense? <laughs> uh, and it's the same with, with all skills. And somehow, something has happened in the last 20, 30, 50 years, I don't know why, I don't know what's happened, it's somehow it's become assumed that you can either draw or you can't. And nobody assumes you can either play the piano or you can't. Everybody knows you have to do the practice. And it's the same with drawing. And if you want to get good at drawing, you have to practice and practice and practice. And part of that practice can be, it doesn't have to be, can be kind of doing little exercises like this. Just learning to do tone. Let's do something curvy like that. And I'm going to go wider here and then get closer. Wider, closer. Wider, and closer. Some people say they listen to my videos. <laughs> they don't do the, the drawings. They just listen to it because they like my voice. And what I'm doing now is getting wider and closer. Wider. I'm closer. I'm hypnotizing you. <laughs> and that is part of now I'm getting wider as so I'm starting close and now I'm getting wider. And that is part of the also the other thing of doing these 
little exercises, the repetition. If you stop talking like I'm having to do because of the video, then once you start doing these little exercises, your nagging left hand side of your brain will shut down and leave you in a wonderful, peaceful <laughs> mood. Which is what I don't know if you've come across Zentangle, uh, which is a kind of a doodling kind of thing, and that's all works on that principle. And it's just a kind of Zen. It's 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 a kind of a way of um, what's the word? It's kind of meditation in a way. And you'll also find that if you calm yourself down, doing little simple things like this. And suddenly problems will get solved because that's what happens with the right side of the brain it sorts things out for you now this is a a little pattern I'm going to show you now which I've been using in the videos I'm working on at the moment I'm doing this big Christmas thing I'm doing which will be starting on Sunday which is the first day of Advent. So I'm doing a whole how to draw the Christmas nativity. And within that I had to do a lot of this for a kind of wicker work basket effect. And again it's really really simple. And I think I can fit just a couple more in there. And I'll, this is a classic kind of... <laughs> there's my cat just come in. I don't, don't know if you heard that meow. This is a classic kind of mm, texture filler, so you just go across one way and then you've got to go that way and do the opposite. And I'm talking so I'm not being very accurate about this and I know some people watch my videos a little, get a little OCD and they go whoops you went over the line or things like that so you'll be going very funny at the moment but you can do yours however you like. Uh, you can do it very, very accurate, or you can do it a little bit more relaxed, like the way I do it. Um, and you can do a similar kind of thing, but make it more open. Like that. And as I say, by doing this, you will be building up your skills. And you will be getting your hand used to drawing and to following the instructions of your kind of subconscious. So there we go. There's just a few ideas and I'm sure you will have hundreds more. Uh, you can tweet me if you've got some really good pattern designs like this for, for little exercises you do. Why don't you tweet a picture of it to uh, at Shoe Rainer uh, and follow me on Twitter while you're at it. Um, and I'll be back on Sunday with a big new project see you then well i hope you enjoyed that and if you did why not go and try this video on my other channel shooby doodling which is more about kind of doodling and patterns and things like that uh, or just try the mystery drawing <laughs> either way make sure you're subscribed to the shoe rainer drawing channel for new drawing videos every monday and friday or go and visit my website shoerainer.com and in the meantime keep drawing 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 and practice 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 i keep saying it <laughs> you take care now bye bye